Welcome to my channel, Frugal Money Saver. My name is Emmy. So glad you're here. Today, I want to share two things. I have a thrift store haul I want to share with you. Um, Paul and I decided to just take a run through our local thrift stores, see what they had, and we did really, really well. And I wanted to share with you to show you the treasures you can find um, in older items. And it doesn't have to be brand new and cost a fortune. And I am beyond thrilled with what we got. And number two, I want to show you how to make my cold tortellini salad. I know most people eat tortellini hot, but I make an amazing cold tortellini salad. Um, and I want to share the recipe. Super frugal, super easy, great for a crowd. So that's what our video is about today. If it sounds interesting, please stick around. If you're new here, please subscribe. I would love to have you. Click that notification bell so when I make a new video, you'll be alerted. And that's it. Also, don't forget about my giveaway. I will um, explain it again at the end of the video. But basically, I'm giving two cooks journals away on January 2nd because I reached 200 subscribers. And all you have to do basically is leave me a comment telling me what you'd like to see more of in my channel uh, in 2020. Super easy. And if you don't want to be entered in the sweepstakes, I'd love you to leave a comment anyway and just say, please don't enter me in the sweepstakes. Because I always love to hear from you on what you think of my haul and the recipes. So, okay, let's get right to the haul. So I'm so excited to show you the first thing. Um, I guess I'll start with low to high. Um, this, I know, a basic watering can. I don't know if you've ever gone into Lowe's or Home Depot or your local hardware store. Watering cans are expensive. Um, Paul and I went to Price One and I don't know, what did we end up wanting? What did they want? Between 10 and $20. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Well, look at this beauty. Our property is terraced, meaning um, we're built into the side of a mountain. So you either walk down to our home or you walk up. So I have gardens on the bottom and I have gardens on the top. So I need like a small watering can for both areas to do my little gardens. So look at this beauty. Look at this. I am thrilled. Are you ready? 20 cents. 20 cents so I couldn't pass this up it's beautiful I mean I got to clean it up a little bit that's why it's on the placemat but I couldn't believe it okay so that was my 20 cent fine always can use an extra watering can now these I found I'm going to take these sorry about the crinkle I should have taken them out before I just wanted to make sure I cut the wrapper before I um started making all this crinkly noise with you but these are brand new in the package and I thought these were beautiful they're little wooden ornaments. You have the star and you have the heart. And in the middle is puffy fabric. And I thought for presents, to put on the top of a present for someone, um, even in my own kitchen on the cabinets, I think they're just beautiful. They were 35 cents a piece, brand new in the package. I just took them out. So 70 cents for these two. So my 20 cent water can and my 70 cent ornament ornaments for two. Then, oh my goodness, this beauty. You know me, I don't know actually if I've ever mentioned it, but everything vintage I adore. Um, and this is the Betty Crocker cookbook. It was originally done in, um, this one was 1968. And then um, they republished it in 78. And this one is in beautiful condition, just gorgeous. And if you've ever looked these up on eBay or you've seen them, um, they can be quite expensive. This beauty was a dollar. Look at the spine. So a dollar, I can't even tell you. And now, how about this tablecloth? Look at these colors. I love, again, everything vintage inspired. Um, this is just gorgeous. Look at this. And the, there wasn't a stain on it. It is brand new. Okay, here is the price tag. Is that coming in? Can you see that? Mm, yep. Okay, $20. This thing is brand new. Look at it. You can see it's like a vintage 
inspired 1950s would be beautiful for a card table um whatever ready i paid a dollar 25. so this is what i'm talking about when i say that thrift stores can hold a plethora of treasures so basically a dollar 25 for the beautiful brand new tablecloth a dollar for this cookbook that i know i will enjoy thoroughly um my two beautiful ornaments that I can see just gifting these even with a card to someone just they're lovely all year round too and then my 20 cent watering can three dollars i think it was 320 with tax because they have to charge tax three dollars and 20 cents for these treasures so that's what i mean when i say we choose what we want to spend our money on i could have bought this tablecloth full price for twenty dollars i could have gone on ebay and paid I don't even know, at least $10 for this hardcover book. And I could have gone to Home Depot and even at the minimum $10 for a watering can. Next time you're in there, look and see how much watering cans are. So I have just been blessed. I'm using my money the way I want to use it and I'm beyond thrilled. So I hope this blesses you and encourages you to check out your local thrift stores and it's a, just a great place to find wonderful treasures. Okay, so now I wanna show you how to make my cold tortellini salad as another special frugal treat. So get ready for some yummy in your tummy with this recipe one of my absolute favorites and if my aunt pat is watching she also makes an awesome tortellini salad she always brings it to our fourth of july gathering and it's so good so i just want to give a shout out to her but okay this is my version of the recipe so what i've done is i've cut out cut up <laughs> i'm always thinking of editing the video okay um some carrots i have two carrots i have two stalks of celery and I have about a half of a large English cucumber. And what I did was just chop them up and I then will add them in after I cook the tortellini. But that's it, you can add whatever vegetables you want. You can cut up tomatoes, you can cut, um, put in peas, whatever vegetable, cold vegetable, small pieces of broccoli. But I'm just going to stick with this because it's winter time and uh, veggies aren't as fresh as they should be really. So just start basic and I'm going to add that and it's super easy. So that's the first step. Cut up your vegetables. So now what we're going to do is just boil two packages of cheese. These are just regular cheese tortellini. Um, I'm doing two pounds because we're having company tomorrow. And um, this will serve a nice amount, but my husband loves the leftovers of this, so this will be perfect. So all you do, and tortellini, I don't know if you, be careful, they splash. Okay, they cook super, super quickly. Literally in three to five minutes, these babies will be done. And be careful, like I said, they do splash. So we're just gonna put these into a pot of boiling water, let them cook for three to five minutes, Taste one after three minutes and see how it is. You don't want them mushy soft. You don't. You want them, as we say, al dente, which means it's a little tiny bite to it. Um, it's a little firmness to it. Okay, so we'll check back in three minutes and see how it looks. So here they are. They cooked for about four minutes and they were perfect for me. Now they are super hot. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take a little olive oil and I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil to them. And you know why that is? So they don't stick. And I'm going to let them cool before I add, I don't wanna cook my vegetables. I want my vegetables to be nice and crunchy, so I am going to just let this cool before I make the rest of the salad. So here we go, that's it for now. Okay, so it has cooled beautifully. It didn't stick together. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my vegetables. I like to mix it in a larger bowl. It's just easier than looking at, uh, mixing it in a serving bowl. So I'm just gonna put these veggies in with that. This is so good. Oh, you should taste it in the summertime. It's so refreshing. Okay, 
So I'm going to give this a toss. You can see. You can even add. Now the tortellini has cheese in it. So another great accompaniment is to add a little pepperoni to this even. You could add pepperoni, some cut up salami would be great. Some olives, green or black olives, cherry tomatoes, whatever suits your fancy. Now I'm just going to add some robust Italian dressing to this now. You can make your own, but I add a little bit of this. This is a bottled robust Italian, and now I'm going to mix it. I'm not going to drench it because I want the pasta to absorb what's in here. And then what I will do is right before I serve it, I will add a little bit more just to give it that extra punch of taste but you can use any kind of salad dressing you would like. Maybe you'd want Greek, um, a Greek salad dressing. You could just do olive oil and vinegar with herbs and spices, whatever your family prefers. And then I'm just gonna put it in my Pyrex, my beautiful vintage Pyrex. And when I tell you how delicious this is, super easy. The pasta was on sale for $2 a bag, and for cheese tortellini, that is a great price. And then I just cut up the vegetables. Look at the presentation, even a scoop of this on your plate. So enjoy, bon appetit. And again, don't forget my contest I'm running. It's a giveaway. And for reaching 200 viewers, there will be two Cook's Journals. I'm going to link a video above. Click on that video and you will see all the information you need to know about the giveaway. But basically, it's two beautiful books. They're Cook's Journals. Keep a journal. And the drawing will be on the 2nd of January. And it's because I reached 200 viewers. No way is it sponsored by anyone. This is just me giving a gift to you all. That's all it is. There's no sponsorship involved and I need to make that clear. Okay, so I'm going to link that video, click on it, leave me a comment below to be entered into the giveaway. Just let me know what you want to see more of in 2020. And if you don't want to be entered into the contest, just leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked my haul and my recipe. Leave me a comment and click the notification bell, please, so you're alerted when I make a new video. Thank you for joining me. I wish you blessings and I love you. Have a great day.